welcome back to the most sleepy episode of Twilight Princess ever. Um, I'm barely focusing. I've done this terrible thing to myself where I immediately start recording the second, literally the millisecond I wake up. I don't know why I do that, but whatever. Oh god. Today I'm going to tell a story. A story of how my twin sister was in a shooting. I hope you guys are excited. Oh. Oh. Cutscene. Hold on. Cripes? Oh. <laughs> this is the bomb seller. He's very noivous. Oh, they're all scaled. We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. I'm not giving- I'm not giving anyone a voice. I'm not even gonna fucking read. You think I can read at the second I wake up? Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and the whole gang from the town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone, and there were two monsters waiting. Wait, who? <laughs> Barnes <laughs> and Noble. Oh my god, I hope his name's Noble. Because it'd be Barnes and Noble. Oh, his name's... Renato. <laughs> there is a cellar. Oh shit. Guys, stop being mean to fucking Colin. Hmm, <laughs> 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 where can you feel it? Hmm. <laughs> He's coming to save us, I can feel it! <laughs> What a hero. <laughs> How sad to be right in front of someone and not be noticed at all. <laughs> Shut up, Midna. <laughs> I think, so in every single Zelda game, there's like that side character that helps Link along the way. I think Zelda's my favorite. I mean, sorry, Jesus Christ, Midna. I don't know, Midna's sassy. She's cute. Guys, watch this. I'm gonna join the circus. Oh god. Shit. I'm joining the circus. <laughs> Play the clown music. Oh yeah, fuck, I was gonna, okay, hold on. Story time now. So my sister went to uh, my friend's 23rd birthday. Uh, I didn't wanna go because, I, I don't know, I just, I didn't wanna go. I don't think I was invited, but I mean, that's fine. I'm glad I wasn't invited, to be honest. Uh, and so they were at this uh, very fancy restaurant called, um, Toronto or something um I I don't I don't know I forgot but uh yeah so that happened and then they were enjoying their meal and then Kara had this urge to go to the bathroom to like not even go oh wait wait I don't oh wait I I don't want to go this way 
Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh... So, Kara went to the bathroom to, like, check on her acne and whatever. Um... Because, I mean, I guess she had, like, a really big breakout and she was really self-conscious. Um, and then... You know, they were all getting up to take pictures or some shit. You know how fucking long that takes. Oh, see? I fucking hit my- <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> and then, um, right as Kara left the bathroom, she heard a window crash and then, like, a million gunshots. Um, at least that's what it sounded like. It sounded like it was never-ending. Um, and then she was like, holy shit, um, and she saw people crawling on the floor and screaming, and, um, she saw this dad shield, um, her daughter, and by the way, Father's Day was the day after this, so Kara and I, we, like, we kept thinking about that dad, um, who, like, shielded, okay, do I need to be in here anymore? No, I don't. We kept thinking about that dad who shielded his daughter from the gunshots, and we were like, dude, you know what? Happy fucking Father's Day to that guy. Like, props to him, seriously. Anyway, so, um, we were doing, they were, so there was all this shit going on, and Kara had this, like, thing in her mind, like, um, nope, I gotta go. <laughs> so, she immediately starts running, um, to the other exit. Um, away from all of the, uh, shots, you know. Because the restaurant was set up weird, because there was, like, the entrance, and then there was the actual entrance, and then there was, like, another thing, and, like, a side thing. It was weird. So, um, yeah, they were doing that. Um, doing their thing. Kara was doing her thing. Running. Flailing. Like a fucking bat out of hell. Um, sorry, I'm also trying to concentrate on, like, what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> okay. And then, um... And then she was going to the exit. And the exit was like, um, I don't know, I, I think she, it was like a push door, but she pulled it or something. And we were laughing because we're like, Kara, even in your most dire moments, you would do an awkward mistake. <laughs> um, so she was really struggling to get it open. And then she finally got it open and then she got on the street and she started running. And she was in like this open lobby, you know, before that. And I don't know. It was just really scary. So she thought the shooter was chasing her. She thought all of her friends were dead. Like, crazy shit like that. Um, and then she goes to the parking garage where she was parked and she immediately... She doesn't call 911 because she knows that there's a million people calling 911 and there are sirens. So she's like, okay, I don't need to call 911. Um, but she called my mom first and she's like panicking and the first thing she said is she's like I'm fine I'm fine like I'm all good um and there's like 20 sirens <laughs> in the background um and then uh okay am I done here? Okay, I can't exit out the door because I'm a dog Minna, I wish you could just maybe open the door. I don't know, that would be nice, but that's fine. Okay, and then and then she calls me. And so I believe very strongly in this thing called twin intuition, like twin telepathy. Because right as she called me, I knew something was wrong. And I was complaining about how much she, like, FaceTimes me for no reason. Just to tell me, like, one thing. Like, oh, I saw a butterfly today. Or something like that. 
And I was telling my friend Dakota about it, and I was like, dude, she calls me randomly all the time. Um, but I knew that this FaceTime, like, I had a sense that something was wrong, but this FaceTime, I was like, yeah, car has been in a shooting. Like, I already knew it before I answered. Um, I don't know why. I just, I just, I, I don't know what it is. I just kind of, like, feel when Kara is, like, in distress. Same with Kara for me. Like, one time our house was flooding, and she was, like, she called me. She's, like, is everything okay? I feel like something's wrong. And I was, like, yeah, my fucking house is flooding. Um, so this is, like, a real thing. <laughs> so... She answers, and I'm like, the first thing I'm, I say is like, Kara, you're safe, you're fine, don't do the what if game, because if you keep playing the what if game, like, what if this happened, what if that happened, are my friends okay? You know, just think about what's happening right now. Because, unfortunately, I've been through a shooting too. Isn't that fun? We've all been through fucking shootings. Um, it sucks, but, you know, I was giving her the best advice I could give her. And then I was like, are you, are you okay to drive? And she was like, I don't know. And I'm like, okay, breathe and like try to drive. And I was, she was like, okay. Cause I was like, the first thing you need to do is get the hell out of there. Um, so then she starts driving and I was like, do you want me to be on the phone with you the whole time? And she's like, yes. And I was like, okay. Um, she got a text from her friend saying that they were all safe and they were hiding in the kitchen of the restaurant with the staff. Um, how the f- Hmm. What am I supposed to do? Midna, you're supposed to do your little laugh. <laughs> oh. Never mind, I could just leave out here. What the fuck? I'm stupid. Wait, where did I enter from? Oh, I entered from up there, probably. Minna, can you fucking? Wait, Dad. I know. Shut up. I. <laughs> Minna, Minna, help me, help me, Minna. I, I, I can't fucking. Minda, can you open the goddamn door for me? I swear to God. <sighs> okay. Minna? Minna? Oh, oh, fuck, here it is! I don't know why I forgot where I entered from. Oh my god, you guys probably think I'm fucking stupid. Anyways. <laughs> um. Glad I figured that out, Jesus Christ. Sorry, I'm telling a story, so I think that's why I forgot. Um. Alright, so, you know, I'm on the call. Uh, and then I turn on the news while I'm on the phone with her, and I'm like, okay. Um. The news says nothing about it, and I'm getting pissed off. The news says something about it the next day. Um, so, apparently what happened was, it was, this was like an investigation that was going on for a couple days. Um, it was a gang-related shooting, and there were 20 gunshots, and it was these two men that were shooting each other across the street. And one of the shooters, he was driving a car, and he slammed his car into the window of the restaurant that my sister was in. Um, and right where they were sitting was, um, <laughs> like, literally, you know how you can get, like, a window seat? That's the window that they were, they were at. The car crashed, and, like, they had to duck because all of the bullet shots were like shooting directly at them. So Kara's friends was were in more danger than Kara, but like, you know, when you're hearing all of this, like you you don't know. You know, you don't know what's happening. <laughs> so, um 
Kara is just like freaking the fuck out, understandably. So, anyways, long story short, she's safe and everyone's fine. There was one guy um, that got hit in the leg on the street. I don't know how he is. I, I didn't check up on that, but he seemed critically injured, so I hope nothing bad happened. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> she, Kara had a little bit of PTSD after that, but um... She, she's kind of, she's okay now, I think. Sorry to whoever owns this shop. <laughs> uh, anyways, on the next episode, we're gonna catch the two more little white dots. <laughs> we're gonna be great. Okay. Okay. Give. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>